Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Elgin Combs and I live in Moldova. Um, but it dawned on me the other day. We've been here for almost 10 months. I realized something. We've only shown you guys a glimpse of what Chisinau is like, what Moldova is like, and very little, maybe some photos here and there, but we've not really given you a tour. So I thought, why not take some time while the weather is beautiful and give you guys a tour of Moldova. And we're gonna start in the wonderful city of Chisinau. taking a pit stop in the park. People love coming to the parks in Moldova during the day, sitting around on benches. It's a very slow pace of culture, and that's something that's taken me a while to get used to. We've been here almost 10 months, and I'm still not quite used to it. In fact, there's a saying that goes, if you get one thing done a day, you're doing well. And while you may think that's crazy, think in the United States, you, you go work out, you go get groceries, you go to the post office, you go to Walmart, and that's just your morning right and then you have a whole other things set of things to do in the afternoon eastern european culture is very slow time is something that everyone has and everyone freely gives away it is um, not a currency it is not valuable here money is valuable here time everybody's got time so it may take a little while for us to see all of keisha now but uh if you're patient i'll get you around i'll show you everything that there is to see You know, the longer I live here in Moldova and Chisinau, the more I'm surprised by all the areas of, of beauty that there are here and then areas of just uh, shambles and a mess. Behind me is uh, the park, which is beautiful. But what you don't see what's on, is what's on the other side of this camera right now. So if I pan around with you, yeah, just rusty tin metal. If I walk this direction, yeah, you know, we have a tendency in all of our Instagram posts and videos that we share to make everything look wonderful, but you know, this is a poor country and a poor city, even though this is the capital city. We are not even a block away from Cathedral Park where I just was a little while ago. We saw the cathedral and all of that. Sorry about the wind. But not even a block away. In fact, I can see it if I look across the street and then behind me, you have just these slums. All this, uh, in there, actually a lot of these places, uh, homeless people are living inside these places. This is, again, not even a block down the road. The, this is an example of uh, what we don't post on Instagram, okay? This is not uh, filter worthy, I guess you could say. Right here across the street is an apartment building. Just looks run down and terrible on the outside. It's a communist era building. It has not been updated since then on the outside. What's interesting is people own these apartments on the inside and people take time to renovate them. And so it might look terrible on the outside, but if you dive inside, it's beautiful. And you know, I think that might be true of the people in Moldova. You look at the country as a whole and you say, wow, how poor. You know, it's, it's, it's so poor, it's so underdeveloped. But if you get in, you get inside, you dig, dig deep and you get to know the people, you really see the true beauty. You know, I was gonna keep walking, but uh, here's Takano Coffee and I'm sorry, I just gotta stop. Coffee break time. All right, I'm sitting inside enjoying an iced latte here at Takano. This is one of uh, four Takano locations here in Chisinau. And uh, Takano Coffee is a chain that started here in Chisinau, Moldova and has expanded to several countries. Personally, I kind of like it better than Starbucks, so shh. This is uh, part of some of the uh, markets, the outdoor markets here. It's called Flakra. You can buy about anything here. It's your toy store, your bag store. 
You get some uh, fresh flour and produce over here. So we are in one of the outdoor markets. Buy all of your fruits and vegetables and Spice. spices. It's uh, good prices, uh, all in cash. We have a lot of spectators today watching us. So many different languages. You have Russian there, then you have Romanian up here, and then you've got uh, English right there. Now Moldova is a great place to buy fruits and vegetables, very fresh food, delicious food, and very cheap food. Um, it's wonderful. Oh, we got dairy through here. Look up here, latte, it's milk, frisca, und butter. smell in here. <laughs> Man. I gotta get out. Oh my goodness. And fish. You want to buy some fish? Looks pretty fresh to me. Plenty of fresh flowers in Moldova as well. And now we're about to show you uh, something that I'm still getting used to and it's a you, there's some crosswalks that are out everywhere but you just walk out and traffic just stops. So you don't believe me watch this. I'm just walking. I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking. Look, look the other way. Just walking and traffic stops. Magic. Incidentally, there are a lot of uh, uh, fatalities in Eastern European countries due to automobile accidents and uh, hitting pedestrians. So, you know, I say they stop. They stop most of the time. So we're in uh, Chentru right now in Chisinau, in the center of the city. This is actually the main intersection in the city. See a lot of uh, old buildings. This is again Soviet style apartments, apartment buildings that house hundreds or thousands of people all the way down the road there. And we're about to walk in down here, down into the, uh, the Moldovan underground, um, down below where all, a lot of shops are. So let's go check it out. Toys, keychains, wallets. I'm gonna grab a coffee while I got some time. What's your? Um, a bit uh, ice latte. That's uh, frappa. Fra frappa, uh, far as the heart. Da? It's a mare. Uh, mare, mare. Uno? Ah, uh, una. Could cost Some Moldovan money right here. I'm going.
right, so I was about to upload this video and I realized I hadn't wrapped everything up. Plus, I wanted to clarify a couple of things. So first of all, two things I said. Um, one, that food was really cheap here and some food is really cheap here, like fruits and vegetables, very cheap. Other food like uh, dairy or meat uh, is comparable to what the cost is in the United States. And then yet there are other foods that are even more expensive here just because it's harder to get them here. And the other thing I didn't really explain was why those underground shops existed, why they were underground. It's because those intersections are so busy they created these underground pathways so people could walk under the roads as opposed to having crosswalks and stopping traffic. So those underground tunnels existed for that purpose and then they put shops in there and it became kind of a shopping center down below the road. So hey, this was the first vlog of many to come, and this is kind of an introduction to Moldova, an introduction to Chisinau. Um, in the next few videos, we'll dive deeper into Chisinau, other things you can find here, what it's like to live in this city, and then we'll start venturing out to the villages as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <music>